Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Migrating the Decision Center database using REST API when using MS SQL Server. ODM 8712 has been installed and deployed on WAS 8557. This is the version we will be migrating the Decision Center database from. The default JNDI name has been used. The database name is DCDB and the schema or the username is SA. From the rule project table in the database, I can check the existence of existing rule projects. In this case, I have three existing rule projects. From the business console, I can again confirm that there are three existing rule projects. ODM 8.10.4 has been installed and deployed on WAS 8.5.5.7. This is the version we will be migrating the Decision Center database to. We now need to create a new schema to hold the tables and views that will contain the migrated data. We can do this as shown here. Here I am creating a new schema with the name SA1 which is associated with the DCDB database that we have been using. You may pause this video to note down the queries to create the new schema or request the assistance of your database administrator. The default JNDI name is used. The database name is the same as before, which was DCDB. The new user or schema SA1 that was created earlier is used. The new schema has not been populated yet. It does not contain any tables or views. To populate the new schema, we launch the Enterprise Console. The Installation Settings Wizard launches and will guide us through populating the new schema with empty tables and views. Click on Next. Select Generate SQL. Click on Next. The queries to populate the schema with empty tables and views execute. Complete the rest of the installation settings wizard. Since the new schema has now been populated, we can query the rule project table to see that it is empty. We are now ready to begin the database migration. In the past, there was only one option to generate the database migration scripts. Starting ODM 8.10.2.2, an additional option has been introduced. We can now use REST API to generate the DB migration scripts. Four new REST APIs have been added. While one of them is completely new, the other three are equivalent to the ANT targets that we know about. You can read all about these new REST APIs on the ODM Knowledge Center. The REST APIs can be executed from the Decision Center Swagger UI. The four new REST APIs are found under the DB Admin section. The first REST API we will use is Migration Role. It creates a SQL script that generates the required privileges to the database user referenced in the data source. It takes in two parameters, data source and old schema name. The data source parameter is optional if we are using the default JNDI name of JDBC slash ILOG data source. The old schema name is SA. I will enter it here. Click on execute. You will need to provide the credentials for a user with RTS administrator role. While the script is getting generated, we can look at the curl command if you wish to run it from the command line 
or the request URL if you wish to run this REST API from a browser without using the Swagger UI. The script has now been generated. Download and save it locally. Now we need to run the generated script. For this, we use the Execute REST API. This API takes in two parameters, data source and SQL script file. The data source parameter is optional if we use the default JNDI name, which is JDBC slash ILOG data source. The SQL script file is the file that we generated. Click on Browse and select the file that was generated. Click Execute. Similar to the other REST API, we can look at the curl command and the request URL if you wish to use those. We can see that the script executed successfully. We should now generate the script to migrate the data from the old schema to the new schema. To do this, we use the Migration REST API. This API takes in two parameters, data source and old schema name. The data source parameter is optional if we use the default JNDI name, which is JDBC slash ILOG data source. The old schema name is SA. Enter that and click on Execute. Download and save the generated script. We will again use the Execute REST API. Click on Browse and select the file that was generated. Click Execute. We can see that the script executed successfully. From the rule project table in the database, I can check for the existence of the three migrated projects. From the business console, I can again confirm that the three migrated rule projects are seen. This concludes the Decision Center database migration from ODM 8712 to 8104 using REST API when using MS SQL Server. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.